George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, live select as free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he will schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. Desperate figures run for their lives, carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. <laughs> How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can can we do a flashback or something? <laughs> Sweet, thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it. Just one more. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. Oh, all licking and no eating make George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat. Mystery berries. <laughs> Meh, had for breakfast. Squash and beans? Had for lunch. Wounded zebra. Patrick, good friend. <laughs> Hey, what's that convenient noise? What's the big deal? It's just a dumb banana tree. Ha! Forgive them! Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend. Bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. Bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post-snack snack snacks, pre-dinner, post-lunch, pre-snack snack, post-lunch, the second reason bananas are our most precious resource, they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant. Distress beacons. Loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. He never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. <laughs> Maybe we should try it with more bananas. Hmm. I call it the thought doer. Know what George thought doing right now? <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape, I'm a scientist. Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. Uh, uh, what happened? 
happened? I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> <gasps> what have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. It begins. All bananium found in every banana are ancient monster genes. Take control. Shh. Just slowly and quietly. There's only one solution. You must. Oh, no. Uh, it's okay. Run. Run for your lives. <laughs> must fix Ape and save Jungle. But there's only two bananas left. Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Oh, George would be terrible ant. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay, is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium. Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us and us as the bananas? Yes, then apes chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be fighty anymore. But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra. Spell no work. You terrible banana magician. I've got it. We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Abe in the jungle to the sacred banana mating ground. <laughs> and so George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go! Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh, this'll never work unless we set the mood. Much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't eat, um, doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more nanas. You two want to play hardball? <laughs> we can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Roasty bananas. George, hold off eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you've learned your lesson. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, hold on, 
I've got this. <laughs> right, listen, learn. What? Ape's not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea. We implemented Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we can eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson, but you were the real monsters here. Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George no want taste yucky jungle things. George stay here and lick this slug. <laughs> 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 mm. What? It's a good idea. Nature. It's soothing, beautiful, even smells pretty nice. But beneath all that fancy business, there's power. A thunderous waterfall can wear down solid rock. Powerful winds can bend the mightiest trees. The fury of lava can scorch the landscape and heat water so ducks can have a nice warm bath. Did I mention the wind? What I'm trying to say is, nothing can stop nature. Something stopping nature! That's overly dramatic, but also correct. Big Little River is down to a trickle. It's an ecological disaster. George, fix! Clear liquid plug up river! That's the water, George. <laughs> no time for jokes, ape. George, let me explain. River made of water? Same as lakes? Yes, and rain, and ice, even snow. They're all water. Stop! They make George dizzy. I think we found the problem. <gasps> Those guys make log house. How stop water? Mystery solved! New mystery. Who are those guys? They're beavers. They're an invasive species. What? An invasive species is an animal that doesn't belong here. It all starts way up here in Canada, where, otherwise known as Castor Canadensis, beavers are not normally found in tropical climates, responsible for the invention of the telephone and the handheld blender. Beavers are nothing if not inventive. And that's where we get artificial strawberry flavor from. So you have to get rid of them before they ruin the jungle forever. Hey. George Wick, totally listen to science talk. Get rid of beavers right now! Oh! Uh! Me, George, king of jungle! You beavers have king, queen, maybe super beaver? What are you, squirrels? Get back to work! Name's three tooth. Huh? Beavers got two teeth that stick out. Okay. I got three. So that's my name. And why I'm in charge! Oh. It's a system. What do you want? George, welcome you to jungle. Now leave jungle. Log house, stop river. Make big puddle on other side. Flood monkey baseball field. Beavers must go. No belonging jungle. Not natural. <laughs> Not natural? Take a look at the mirror, bub. You're human. You don't belong in the jungle neither. George, human? Reality can take many forms. A sunbeam, a bolt of lightning, or a giant hammer that clobbers you in the jaw. That's just a metaphor, of course. What did you think you were? George think he was... a uh, George. Kinda like Abe Sloth lemur banana thing. And one day, Lady George show up. And George and Lady George make baby George. Then we all return to home planet. You know what's funny? Until this very moment, I thought I knew what crazy was.
ape no George human? Well, of course I did. And you kept it a secret? It wasn't a secret. He has thumbs and everything. <laughs> After I found you in the orphan storm, we knew right away that you were human and that your diaper smelled really bad. At first, you tried to be an ape. That didn't work out. Neither did being a bird. But soon you found your own identity and became king of the jungle. And the jungle needs its king to stop those beavers. But George, human now. If beavers no belong in jungle, neither does human George. Ha! Are you kidding? We humans go wherever we want, do whatever we want, take whatever we want. We rule the planet, see? What you gonna do, huh? Cry? Cry like a big, sad, crying ape, huh? Huh? Stop! Stop, stop it! I'll put you in the circus. Leave me alone. Magnolia's annoying, but also right. You just need to discover what it means to be human. Then you'll understand why you belong here as king of the jungle. But how George learned to be human, ape? How? If only we knew a human who could teach you. Hmm? Forget it! I'm not... Now, you two, be human. Okay, first thing you gotta learn, George, is that we humans are crazy smart. We think. Animals just do stuff or whatever. See? I'd never do that, cause I use my brain. Ah, here's a perfect example. I'm thinking what that crocodile could want. Hmm. Fum. It probably just wants a kiss or something, so I think it's harmless. Ta-da! Uh... And we humans are never wrong. Ah! Ah! I'm wrong! I'm so wrong! Help me, George! Ah! Thanks for that. You throw a good crocodile. <laughs> The witch doctor is human. At least I think he is. Maybe he can help. Crusher! Buggy buggy boo! Buggy buggy boo! Be gone, shark that's blue. I have banished the evil shark from your lawn. Ahem. Mmm, mmm. Elephants make the best BLTs in the jungle. Shark monkey fit? What? Let Abernathy go. <laughs> yeah, well, next time, don't miss your cue. Oh, phew. Hey, elephants! It's okay! No shark! Just weird monkey! I tricked them. But why humans trick animals? Duh, for a bag of sandwiches. <laughs> Wait! George not learning up yet! <sighs> you did the right thing, George. Cheer up! Look, I'm the shark monkey! Wait, I'm not. It's a hat! It's just a hat! Ah! There's only one more human who might be able to help. Ah! Hey, George scared. Desperate times call for desperate... Ah! Wait, we need your help! <laughs> George not know how to be human. Ah! Ursula teach George? <laughs> Only one thing you need to know. This was a terrible idea. Hey. Being human means being scary. All animal afraid of Ursula. Babe, wake up, babe. Hey! Good. Now Ursula can scare him again later. <laughs> I saw the other side. Okay. If George have to be human, then human have George to be. What? <laughs> this is beaver country now. Hey, beaver teeth! George know himself now! Beavers in big human trouble! Oh, really? And what are you gonna do, human? George use human thinky brain! <laughs> I ain't got all day, bub. Huh? Okay. Then George use human tricky trick. Look, 
big monster behind you! Mm, nah, fine. Then George, use human scary face. Use you what? <laughs> like I said before, humans don't belong in the jungle. And you are one terrible human. Beaver right. George, no good at thinking, no good being tricky, no good being scary. George, bad human. You saved Magnolia, stopped the witch doctor from lying, and brought me back from the afterlife. You may be a terrible human, but you're a great George, and this is where you belong. <laughs> Don't feel bad you're lost. We chew down trees and build awesome stuff. It's our thing. Chew trees? Yeah, <laughs> those logs. Buddy, logs are trees. Logs are trees? George bash into trees all the time. Human George can't get rid of beavers, but George George can bash down log tree piles. How? There aren't any trees left to swing from. There be one. The tallest tree of all, tree known to ages as Tim. What's he doing? He's being himself. He's being George. Which one of you jokers left the tallest tree in the jungle? Huh? Ah, figures. Oh. And George finally realized that his nature was not a human nature. It was his own. Talkie Sky Boy's right. George, lousy human. But George, good George. And all it took was the jungle to be clear cut and flooded. Maybe you wrecked a dam, but you made an enemy. An enemy with three teeth! You can be George Enemy. You can be whatever you want. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. George, George, George of the jungle, live select as free. <laughs> Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. Well, George, George, George of the jungle, friend of you and me! Hi there! Why, hello! Oh, you're looking for you let it find today. La di da. Oh my! Oh. What are you? I'm a beaver, and your lunch. Man, he ate me. Poor Owen. He ate you. You heard me. And then that. Dirty furred flat tail turned to me and said, Tell all your jungle friends we're back and we're hungry. Then he ate me. But you just said, And then he had a lion and a hippo and even a shark. No, two sharks. He ate every piece of food he could find. <laughs> Holy bananas! George, glad you make it out okay. His appetite was unstoppable. But uh, beavers only eat wood. Do I look like a beaverologist? All I know is what I saw. But... What a crazy cute little chinchilla lie to you. It's Owen Wright. Chinchilla's the cutest. And George already tell beavers not to be in jungle. 
Yeah. Beaver's back for sure. I think you're right. George! Watch out for this! Three, two! Hey, Georgie boy! Long time no see! Long time not long enough. Whoa! You're not still mad about that little dam I built, are you? That was half a season ago. I see. Look, I was in a bad place then. But that's why I'm back! To make up for what we did. So, you know eat sharks? What? I've never even seen a shark. I mean, I know what they are. I've seen them in books. But no, I don't eat sharks. Why would you ask me that? Uh, uh, uh... What's he doing? What's that noise mean? He wants to hug it out. He forgives you. You too, buddy. You too. Uh, uh, uh... And you believe him? Someone is eating everything in the jungle. Papayas, avocados, hams. They're all gone. Well, who else could it be? Those flat tails have big teeth, big mouths, and big bellies. George, go see beavers already. They nice. We hug. If you're so sure everything's fine, then give us some of your food. Sure. <laughs> you cute when you hungry. Who wants snacks? <laughs> food stolen! Wow, who would do such a thing? Wood chips, maple syrup can. Damn Builder Monthly? <laughs> That's a beaver magazine! But three tooth say beaver's all good now. Maybe he not tell the beaver truth. They don't seem to be eating everything. Maybe they not hungry now? <gasps> hmm, something's going on around here. Woo! Woo! We do steak out? We do steak out? We do steak out. I brought coffee and banana donuts. Me no care about donuts, Dave. George won answers. Now! <sighs> this isn't good cop, bad cop, George. At least not yet. Remember? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, donut pancake? They really like logs, huh? I'll be right back. Ooh. Hi! <laughs> Wow, that lot of food. Uh, yes, and uh, look how cute I am. Oh, man, you super cute. <laughs> okay, bye. What did I miss? Meh, nothing suspicious. What's he eating back there? <laughs> that 110% suspicious. We go undercover. What are you doing here? And why are you dressed like a tree? And I, I'm gonna say, careful? Yeah. Hold on. If you're gonna accuse me of building a giant robotic war beaver, you're way out of... What? What? No, we accuse you of stealing all food in jungle. What under type, huh? Huh? A friendship statue. That I was carving. <laughs> It's clear that we beavers aren't wanted here. And that hurts. It hurts bad. Come on, guys. Let's go someplace where people don't judge you on the size of your teeth or the flatness of your tail. Uh, Abe, George feel he do something wrong there. What are you doing with all those bananas, Owen? Um, I'm hiding from those dirty flat tails. Yes, they're right behind me. But beavers leave jungle. Uh, um, uh... Chinchillas, it's go time! Woo! Dance party! I didn't think so, George! That's right. It's payback time for everyone in this stupid jungle! <laughs> hey! What jungle ever do to you? It's the worst! It's like a sauna out here! And do not even get me started on the pitting. But not any longer. Not with Amy! With Origin, I will explain for you via these clips from the DVD bonus featurette, The Making of Amy. We fed her and trained her. 
Then we better some more. And just as we planned, she grew. And grew. And grew. The beavers, with their dams and water, were our only threat. And now they're gone. <laughs> Amy's gonna tear down your stupid jungle. Then we'll build our home. We'll put cages up, maybe big cardboard boxes, and tons of exercise oils. Aww, you're so cute when you angry. I'm not cute! Aww. What if we just built those things for you? Exercise wheels and such. Away from water? You, 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 you do that for us? Oh, wow. Uh, I, guess, uh, I, mean, I guess I should have asked first. <laughs> oh, boy, this is embarrassing. Uh, it's okay, Gus. Call Amy off. We came, Mom. She's real angry about all the training we put her through. And hungry. Uh, slight hit. <laughs> And as Amy poured through the jungle, George had a very strange dream. In it, he and Three Tooth danced under a waterfall by a rainbow. Owen was there too, but he wouldn't go near the water. And he had a little chinchilla-sized umbrella, which was really cute. Also, there were arm wrestling unicorns. And when he awoke, George knew exactly what he had to do. <gasps> George needs to arm wrestle unicorns! What? But first, we get beavers to build giant dam and wet down giant Amy. Head to Canada! Three, two, beavers! We sorry. Chinchilla's trick, George. But me need help now. Jungle need big dam. Please? You just said the magic word. Uh, please? Dam. A bit of a rush job, but you'll do. Amy. Come here, cutie, cutie. See you later, beautiful. Promise not to be angry. So a lot. It's not exactly a lot. George, sit there. You'll control the left side. Ape, you man the special attacks. What is this thing? Her destruction. Talk about this, okay? How did you beavers know Owen's diabolical plan? Whoa, this is awkward. Uh, we were actually gonna destroy the jungle ourselves. You know, revenge for kicking us out the first time. Uh, good thing you no want to do that anymore. <laughs> Me learn one thing for sure. Everybody up to something. <laughs> and how? <laughs> There comes a time in every animal's life when they just can't do the things they used to. When they slow down just a bit. When time seems to have passed them by. Fortunately, the Jungle Geriatric Set has George, King of the Jungle, to help them in their golden years. Yeah. Huh? Ooh, George fix! 
Could there be a more thoughtful jungle king than George? I don't think so. But I don't know for sure. I mean, it's, it's not like I've done any research or anything. <laughs> Aw, you're welcome. Finally, liquid time! Hey, evil doctor, leave old animals alone! What? George say, leave old animals alone! Do you see any old animals here? Uh... I'm a mad scientist, not a monster. Then what's that? That? That is a time machine I just finished in. Hey, yeah, quit yeah, it! Yeah, yeah. We stop this instead, okay? No, not okay! Not okay! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You missing parents, too? That's ten elderly animals lost in the last week. Hmm. What they all have in common? Well, they were old, they move slowly, they'd be easy to catch. Bernard! <laughs> Bad snake! Bernard, no eat old animals! George, no care, they taste good! Open face! Open face now! Okay. Okay. There! You safe now, Grandma! Wait, there's something still in there. Bernard! What in the world? Ah! Ah! Ah, my back! Rover! You scaly split tongued serpent! You think you can eat us and get away with it? It's crumpets for you. What are you two jackalopes staring at? Uh, uh... Be quick about it. Wait, I know you. You're Lloyd, Lloyd of the Jungle. And you're his mentor, Gorilla. Yeah, so you're not as dumb as you look. Because you look pretty dumb. I, uh... George, Lloyd and Gorilla were our predecessors until they mysteriously vanished 50 years ago down this rapscallion's gullet. Ah, still got it. A shoot, a shoot, yeah. A toast to Lloyd and Gorilla back in the jungle, safe and sound. Yeah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tell George all about being king in old times. <gasps> You fight T-Rex? First of all, it's King Lloyd to you, sideburns. Go get a haircut, you hippie. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, that's not really appropriate. The only thing that's not appropriate is your slaughter of the Queen's English. You want to hear about the old days, huh? Do ya? Uh, George don't know anymore. It was tough, but that's how we liked it. We didn't swing on vines, we swung on thorns! Yes! And when Lloyd hit something, it was never a tree. Ah! Too soft! Too soft indeed! I see. Well, George and I do things a little differently now. <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, it's true! George and Ape show you! Hey, lions, hyenas, share a water hole, okay? Or else. <laughs> or else. <laughs> or else what? Um, or else George make everyone get along. <laughs> oh, your threats are as weak as a bowl of mint jelly. This is how you make animals behave. Ooh, Ooh, we can have you. Oh, that hurt. Hey, she That's a fine bowline. There it is. <laughs> oh. Now they'll learn to get along. Look, Georgie boy. <laughs> I appreciate you looking after things when I was all nowhere in a snake's gut. But you're as soft as wet buckwheat. Huh? You ain't got no mustard, boy. What? We're taking our old jobs back. Got it. Um, no. That's not how this works. That's exactly how it works. Tip 
technically they never reside. So Lloyd and Gorilla are still Jungle King and Mentor. Cheap me do my bad. He mean and out of touch. You make animals sad. Oh, I'll make someone else sad right now. Stop. That is not And if Lloyd King of Jungle, then what George and Ape? Hmm. George Jester of Jungle? Ape Knave of the Jungle? Ah, quit your whining. You're lucky you still got jobs. And them fancy new hats. What the hey hey's going on here? I don't recall giving you trunk noses leave to be all flappity flap flap with your ears. If I wanted to see all these colors, I would fight a rainbow. Now mud it up, bird brains. If you exercised them hind quarters as much as you did that mouth, you wouldn't be such a tumble lord. Hey, Hippo perfect the way Hippo is. Called tough love, and because you let the jungle go soft, there's a lot more of it coming. George, trying to help you. Listen, Charlie, I need your help like I need another ward on my butt. Hey, I got 20 warts on my butt. <laughs> You're fired. So scram. Did George make mistake? No. I didn't think old people could be so mean either. What we do now? There isn't much we can do. It's against jungle law to interfere with the king. Let's just go home, relax, read a good book or two, and figure it out in the morning. <laughs> the move! Find your own bed, sit, you bums. We're taking over this dump. This means war. But it's against jungle law. Then it's gorilla war. We win easy, ha! <laughs> they old, we young! And so, George and Ape went underground to fight against Lloyd and Gorilla's old-school jungle tyranny. <laughs> but no matter what they tried, Lloyd and Gorilla's years of experience meant they had seen it all before and knew exactly what to do. They're always one step ahead. George Wish never pulled them from Snake in first place. Yes, well, unless you have a time machine. Finally, now I can... I'm going back to bed. <laughs> now we just stop me and... Whoa! George, you sent us back too far. George? George, send us back, send us back, send us back! That good? No, no, that's not good. <laughs> not good at all. Ah, oh, yeah. Now this is an 18 karat jungle. Indeed. <laughs> we back. <laughs> I don't know who you jackalopes are, but I know I don't like you already. We, George and Ape, we stuck in dinosaur land when time machine broke. It took us 50 years to make a new one. Well, I'll be. It is them. Not for long, it ain't. It's Splitsville for you two. <laughs> ha! We're older than you now. We know all the tricks. And we have time to invent new ones. It's ice. Go, go. Oh, it's ring a ding ding time. See, George finally understands what you mean. Oh, no. no, George, too. Oh, my sciatica. Oh. Oh. That's the thing. 
You know what? You kids can have the job back. Oh, we're getting too creaky for this clam bake. Even though technically you're older than us. Okay, but George's back still hurt. Boy, he sits here all the time. Point uh, still, King. Nope, nope, you're the man. <laughs> oh yeah. George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, live select as free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant shed. Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. George of the Jungle. As strong as he can be. But how strong is that? And how does he work? Let's take a look inside. His eye Georges keep a keen watch for trouble in the jungle. Oh, he's spotted something. Then sensitive ear Georges listen for advice from his mentor, Ape. George, save that monkey! To the brain George, who looks a little overworked right now. He's got a lot to deal with. The brain George makes a decision and ta-da! The king of the jungle gets it done. You might think the brain George is in charge, but you'd be wrong. The stomach is where it's at. It takes a lot of food to keep the king of the jungle jungling. <laughs> meat the best. George loves meat. You do eat an awful lot. Maybe you could cut back a little. Why? Meat never run out. It's magic. What? Meat isn't magic. Meat is... Animals! All meat? Meat Georgie? Burgers, steak, ham sandwich, double extra bacon pizza? No, 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 no! George think chicken burritos made by chicken, not with chicken! It's okay, George. It's not okay! George's supposed to protect animals, not eat animals! George? <gasps> what if George eat Tookie Tookie by mistake? Or Doggy Chef? Or you, Ape? Or <gasps> me? George, many other animals eat meat. It's the circle of life. George must make big sorry time to all animals. Sorry, Birdie Birds, about chicken noodle soup. Sorry, Jungle Cow, about juicy burgers. Sorry, Wild Piggy, about ham sandwich. Sorry, Wild Piggy Butt, about pig butt burritos. Sorry, Jungle Moose, about chocolate mousse. I really think you're making too much of this, George. Here, I made your favorite lunch. No, no! Go, little meatballs. Go, be free. George, no eat you ever again. You too, Spaghetti. George, this is ridiculous. And pasta's not even a... From now on, no animals in mouth. George, only eat veggie tables. And make sure Jungle does too. Apple tastes way better than brown mouse. Cabbage plant instead of frog. See, Ursula? Onion tastes much. <laughs> While your quest is noble, my good friend, I fear it's doomed. No, George, not stop. Must teach Jungle to eat veggies. 
Not food that alive! But George, vegetables are... Alive? How come you never tell George that, Banana? Tell Banana he owed George answer, Celery. <laughs> See, George? Eating other plants and animals is a normal process in nature. We apes have been doing it ever since we arrived on this planet. I mean, ever since we evolved on this planet. Fine. Then George eats dirt. Dirt not animal. Dirt not alive. But even dirt is full of things that are living. Then George be a... Don't do it. Rocketarian. <laughs> Yum. Oh, so good. George, you can't just eat rocks. It's been weeks now. I'm taking you to the witch doctor. Sometimes I just love saying my own name out loud. Uh, what seems to be the O? Oh. He won't eat anything except rocks. And the jungle's going to heck without him. Hmm. 50 cc's of quit being an idiot and eat some real food should do the trick. Let's not eat anything but rocks until conscience clear. George, if meat could talk, it would tell you that it's okay to eat it, as long as you treat it with respect. But meat can't talk, so... <gasps> meat seance! My afternoon's free. I'm gonna open a pretty gnarly hole to the netherworld, so make sure you don't disturb this circle. Why not? What part of Gnarly Hole to the Netherworld didn't you understand? Spirits of ham, spirits of lamb, spirits of sausage and chicken pot pie. Come forth through this portal so George can say hi. Holy bananas! Wow, I didn't expect it to work. Okay, big man, say your piece. George just wants say. He very, very sorry for eating all you animal meats. Uh, unless you say is okay, George only eat rocks now. See? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Some angry meat, and it's out for revenge. say that I never prepared for this exact problem. Meat defeat George because George take meat for granted and not think about what he eat. George need to know his frenemy. Ape, 
Put George in meat school. Teach about circle of life. Teach proper meat names. Teach about where meat come from, but really, really fast. Okay. George know all about meat now. Know where it come from and where it going. Eat me! Me really, really tasty and free-range organic ethnically treated. I have good life, so it's okay and natural for you to eat me now. Circle of life. George, what have you done? George, clear conscience. Now me know what it's like to be meat, too. Whee! <laughs> oh, 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 only ghost can eat ghost. <laughs> Goodbye, turkey. Hope you had good life in nice fields with grass and bugs, which is only kind of meat George eat from now on. Then eat me, you beautiful man. <laughs> you did it, George. You ate all the meat that you previously ate. Yeah, man, that was <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Jungle safe again, and George understand all about meat. We'll always remember your sacrifice, George. What sacrifice? Which doctor can just put George back in body now? Sure, if your body's still around. Uh, I could put you in something else, I suppose. Not so bad, George double patty with onions. Wait, why ain't look at George like that? Hey, hey, no! Daddy! Daddy! Huh. George, wake up! <laughs> no one said being king of the jungle was easy. But George takes it to a whole other level. Hurry, 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 hurry! Ah -ha. <laughs> Luckily, George always bounces back. Ape? Time for jungle aerobics? No, in fact, you'll never need to exercise again! Oh, why? A huge asteroid is headed straight for the jungle! And? There is no and! We're doomed! Doomed! Hmm. Or me could save day. Yes! Me do that instead! Me save day! Wow! Oh, it's an asteroid! No worry, everybody. George, catch Big Sky Rock with bare hands. George, you can't catch an asteroid. It's... it's all over. Hey, George got this. Yes, George always bounces back. That is until, spoiler alert, right now. We're alive. Are you okay? No. Phew, that doesn't look too bad. That's a normal skeleton for comparison. This is George. Every bone's broken. His organs are mulch. Somehow there's a wasp nest in there, and I don't even know what all this stuff is. But thanks to my very expensive services, he's gonna be fine. Thank you, Doctor. Me feeling better already. No, what you're feeling is nothing, because I had to remove your entire body. Ta -da! <laughs> Don't be such big babies. I sent it out for repairs. It'll be back in a week. But what will George do until then? Same as everyone else. Use the loner. Yeah, not so bad for a body made of wood. Um, George? Ah! Pretty hot! Pretty hot! <laughs> 
Sorry? Oh, I've got a couple more, but I'm keeping your deposit. Okay, now, George, see what new body can do. Um, George? Ah! Everybody's hungry! Everybody's hungry! Hmm, I'll get another. Okay, now, George, see what new body can do. Um, George? This gets silly now. And I'm all out. But George can't just be ahead. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. Yes! <laughs> you great from up here. Uh, uh. Woo Neat control arm! I don't like this. I don't like this very much at all. Nose or ear itchy ape? George, help. <laughs> ah, ouch! Stop, stop it! That's good enough for me. I'll see you in a week. Come, Abe. We save jungle together. High five. George! Oh, maybe oh, you should let oh, me drive. Oh. Uh, no rocks to plug hole. Only one option. Wait, don't. <laughs> Stop. No fight, big cats. Work together instead. George, no field claws or teeth. Eat. Well, that was a whole half hour. Take him off me, now! But Ape no like being close to best friend George? I do. You just have to take better care of your body, George. You're too reckless. George's not reckless. George extreme! And that's the problem I had that feels so weird. What now, soccer ball? More friends help! You know, at first I was like, no way, but it's been fun spending time with you, George. Aw, George happy you let him crash here. <laughs> no problem. What are friends... Wow! What are you doing? George get you cool tattoo to remember time we spend together. Hit <laughs> picture of me, real big. You know like tattoos? <laughs> this time, food go in Ursula's mouth. Not if George get there first. Sorry. Stop. Please stop. Higher. Higher. Wee. Turtle. Turtle. Do loop. Do loop. Wee. Turtle. Great news. Hi, Doctor. George's body back? Good as new. Finally! Let's get you back where you belong. What? Huh? Hey! Follow George Body! <laughs> body, what's up for? Tree. Hey, Body, why you run? I don't know if you understand how creepy this is. Body, put me on, okay? Fun chase over. That hurt. Bad news, George. Your body doesn't want you back. It says you don't respect it and you'll just break it again. He tell you that? He indicated as much using a clever mix of mime and middle fingers. Fine. Who need body anyway? You do, George. You really, really do. No. George head need no one. See you back at Treehouse, Ape. Are you? George, sure. George, still Jungle King. <sighs> Hey, kitty, leave monkey alone. Not cool, kitty. Fear not. George, help little guys get across. Okay. Now George think you missing on purpose. <laughs> oh. Wow. 
George never see jungle from up high. Look so pretty. Make George want to focus on important things in life. <laughs> Jerk Eagle! And what do we have? in pain. George understand how hard he be on body. He take it for granted. No more. <laughs> I rock this body. You know who has two thumbs and feels like some lions? This guy! <laughs> Not in my weirdest dreams did I ever imagine. Must stop, Dr. Baby Big Buddy! Strike! I'm totally jacked! And I never even went to the gym! Hey, bad doctor! <laughs> Set body free! Um, that'll be a no! Yes! This is my house! Bro George Ape must save body in jungle! But it'll hurt! Bro George! Dr. Chicago! Catch! <laughs> Massage? <laughs> Body, me sorry for treating you bad. Me no deserve such awesome muscles and six pack. Me wish you good future. Whoa, 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 whoa. Body miss George? George miss Body too! <laughs> me so happy to be back. And another bizarre nightmare comes to a happy end. Now we celebrate with rock eating contest. Ow! Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. 